Greetings, Soul Swint here, and welcome to Let's Play Cooking Simulator. In this episode, it's another bonus video for 5 star dish, and we're gonna try out something that we don't own yet. And probably have not seen yet. And that is... The Easy Chinese Egg Drop Soup. So... We're supposed to crack eggs, we're supposed to... Um, cook and prepare, no cutting here. There is some cutting here, basically we need to separate some scallion. Cut scallion leaves into 40 grams. Uh, oh no wait, take the scallion and then cut it into 5 grams, like quarters. 40 grams, cut it into 5 grams. We'll find out what it is, it seems like a very simple step, basically one cutting only. And um, I think that would be useful for us. So let's take this recipe. We are gonna need some new ingredients. And that scallion, right? Oh, wait. White pepper. Okay. We need white pepper. And, uh, oops. Sesame oil is our new ingredient. Got egg. And we can use scallion leaves. Yeah, that's about it, right? That's, that's all. So it's going through here. I think. Oh wait, no. <laughs> white pepper, egg, uh, white pepper, sesame oil, egg, and then scallion. Hmm, interesting. Well, anyways, I'll meet you back here in the prep phase. So for the prep phase, we need to get some of these um, scallions. Okay, be very, very careful with the scallions. It's gonna knock down everything, including all of these. Okay, so be very, very careful. We wanna separate that. Okay. Uh, have a bowl or something to hold it. Put it nearer, actually. Take it. Separate it. Throw it. Take. Separate it, throw it, take, separate it, over the counter of course, if you noticed. And then take, separate, throw. We need 5 grams of these things, like basically 40 grams into 5 grams, so we need about like 8 of them, I think. So what we want to do is to throw these away. And be very careful when picking these up. You see, it, it flies forward over there, almost hitting some of those things. Bring this over to here. Put everything in there. Okay. And uh, if you want to, you can always uh, just put this here. It's fine. You don't need to bring that one over. That's good enough. So you don't actually have to go and take the other thing if it's like not convenient. And you check here. There should be quite a number of 6 grams and 5 grams and all that. And we need like 40 grams of 5 grams if I'm not mistaken. So just 5 grams. 5 grams. If you see a 3 or something blocking your way, just pick it up, move it away. Faster that way. 5 grams. 5 grams. 5 grams. Just move that away. We have plenty of 6s anyway, so it's okay. 6. Now we should still have some more 5s. 5 gram. Is that all? Good. Wait, hang on. Not good. Okay, so, um, we need eight of these. We'll have to have, like, two of these spare. I mean, we can always cut one more, but it's fine. Uh, we don't need to be too particular about it. Next time round, we probably have to bring a lot more, like, maybe eight of these. Each of them give me one five grams. So we need 8 of those, but that's fine. 
and we're gonna put it inside over here so that's it I'm gonna meet you back here during the serving phase hey the easy Chinese egg drop soup and uh, we need to crack egg and transfer into the food processor and blend so let's quickly do that uh, we'll throw all of these away don't need them let's get an egg come on okay never mind <laughs> Buy it from here. And how much eggs do we need? We need 200 grams. Oh, 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 see that? See that? What? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course. Isn't that perfect? What a good way to start, huh? And then topple everything because, you know, the kitchen's too clean. Yeah, let's dirty it a little bit. You know, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, blend. That's only a hundred. Okay, so add to a pot chicken broth 1000 ml. Yeah, right, the one that had fallen. Oh, what is this? I don't even know. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> Oops, no, I picked it up. Yeah. 1000 ml, so chicken broth, 1000 ml. Pour it entirely. No problem with that. Discard this as part of the deal. Boil for 60 seconds and then salt and white pepper, 5 2. Hang on. Oh, transfer into a pot and then add that one. So we need to transfer these. Okay. Empty now. 60 seconds. Let's go. So we need white pepper and we need sesame oil. And we also need salt. So white pepper... Sesame oil liquids and salt. In that case, what I plan to do is that maybe I can use the plate for 10 ml of sesame oil. Is that 10? I think 10. Yeah, 10 ml. 16, 15, uh, 2 grams of white pepper, and then we can switch that off. Okay, get ready. Okay, that's done. We need 5 grams of salt. Okay. And then better put this back because it's gonna be there to topple something, almost certain. Oh wait, is that all? What? Okay, pour that in and then just boil and that's it, right? I better transfer though. Thirty seconds, and these are the garnish. The scallions are the garnish, and that's it. Literally that. Where are my scallions? Didn't I cut the scallions? 
I thought I cut the scallions already? Oh, it's here. Oh, okay. Now, we need to get 300 ml and then scallion leaves um, 40 grams of them. That's it. Scallion leaves 42 grams, no problem. Okay, that's it. Right, photo looks okay. Let's submit it and we'll see. Yep, a five star. And I'm so surprised that this was quite a simple dish to prepare. Thank you, and it's perfect. So yeah, it's just like that. The, the preparation of scallion leaves have been simplified thanks to the cutter. So I think the cutter is more useful for like cutting longer food and the shorter ones or the or the smaller ones don't tend to fare as well. We've got a lot of help from the cutter for our 5 and 6 gram scallion leaves and preparing the soup was just like that. So that's it for this dish. It's a 5 star. I'll see you on the next episode. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.